Hello, welcome to this new tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of this uh, line whenever you add a ground plane to your scene. And this is basically the, the edge of that plane that uh, we that I added as a floor. And sometimes you can just, just rotate the camera in order to hide that line. But if you need like a very different perspective, sometimes this line is just crossing your entire image. So let me show you how to uh, blend this uh, edge smoothly with the background. So in order to achieve that, I'm going to double click in the plane to get into the material properties of that uh, plane. Then I'm going to click on the material graph so I can open this window. Uh, I'm going to go to the library uh, and I'm going to go to the texture tab and then I'm going to look for the opacity maps. I'm going to drag the radial gradient map to the material graph. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to hit the C keyboard to isolate this texture map. So as we can see, it's filling it, uh, it's scaling it at the size that is needed to fill the entire plane. I'm going to hit C again and I'm going to connect this node to the opacity node in the plastic uh, material. And as we can see, there's something weird happening here. So now instead of having like this big uh, circle filling the entire uh, plane, now we have a small circles uh, repeated into the entire area of that plane. So what's happening here is, is that uh, if I double click on this uh, texture map that is also connected to the plastic material, we can see that the repetition property is, is checked. So I'm going to double click again in the radial gradient map, in this texture map, and I'm going to uncheck the repeat horizontal repeat vertical and also the sync mode. This is pretty important. And I'm going to scale this up to kind of like 64,000. This uh, measure will depend on your scene. But uh, okay, now we can see that uh, if I hit C, the uh, gradient is, scaled, is now to the pretty decent size in relation with the entire area of that ground plane. But uh, something weird happened here with the other texture map. So I'm going to hit C again. And as you can see, then the units change, the size, the size changed. Ah, okay. No, what changed is that uh, we have to check again, repeat horizontal and repeat vertical because we uh, did this before we unsynced this texture. So this um, also affected to this texture map. But we can just uh, turn it, turn that on again, and as we can see now, we have a nicely blend uh, ground plane with the background. So that's all for this quick tutorial. Hope to see you in the next video.